welcome back to my youtube channel um now for those that don't know me my name is notando and i have an instagram page guys please follow me on instagram okay i'm gonna put up my instagram handle right here for you guys please follow me on instagram now to all my day ones my subbies welcome 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 and if you are here for the second time third time fourth time and you have not subscribed What's your reason? Like, you like the content clearly because you're back. So please just click that subscribe button. It is free, guys. Free. You don't even pay, like, one rand. It is free. Thank you. Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. You might just consider subscribing because you will definitely like this content. Now, guys, today's video, um, I'm actually doing a playlist, actually, because... <clears throat> I've noticed that some of you guys go into my DMs and ask me about studying in Russia, applications, requirements, and I've actually spoken about this like a couple of times on my channel. So I was like, okay, I see the problem now. I think let me just do like a video, a whole playlist actually, broken down segments of studying in Russia, what to pack, challenges of coming here, benefits, and I will literally, this playlist will help a lot of you guys. So please check out the playlist. It'll be in my description box below. Check it out. Check it out please so yeah let's get into the video um today i'm talking about applications strictly so the first thing that you guys need to know is where do you apply or what agency to use to apply i'm gonna speak specifically about south africa Mpumalanga to be even more specific because that is where i'm coming from that's what i'm familiar with that's how i came here so <clears throat> Well, there are two agencies which I'm aware of that send student his, students here from SA, right? I know of Ruckus and I know of Symmetex and both these agencies have been used by students. Now, um, I came with Ruckus. A lot of people that I know actually came with Ruckus. It's only a few that have used Symmetex, but most have come here with Ruckus. Now, Ruckus can be quite dishonest, to be honest. They will be, yeah, they, they can be very dishonest. Actually, not even quite. They can be very dishonest. So do your research, guys. If you're going to use Ruckus, make sure you do your research because, wow. Well, we'll get to that so yeah um there are those two agencies that i've used um what else can i say about them i'm actually reading from a small book so if you see me looking down i'm reading from my notebook uh the second thing is okay some countries people have applied directly to the university not via an agency so that is possible but i don't know how so don't ask me about that because i don't know anything about that i know about agencies so the next question is when to start applying a lot of you guys let me just put my phone on silence guys it's been sorry just one second as i was saying most of you guys ask me um you know i'm in grade 11 should i apply now or i'm upgrading my results i'm doing bsc should i wait like when can i actually apply now i've said this before the best time to apply is after you finish grade 12 because they don't even consider your grade 11 results they don't even consider your bsc results they just need your grade 12 results honey that's all they need don't apply when you're in grade 11 don't apply when you're doing bsc just apply after grade 12 even if you are already in bsc just take your grade 12 results and apply that's it um yeah next question is application requirements what do they actually need now there are two things that you guys need to know okay there's the university requirements or workers requirements and there's the bursary requirements okay now the bursary that i'm aware of i'll speak about it just now is the one from Pumalanga, right if you're from a different province i don't know of any bursary is now so yeah let me speak about the university requirements or the Rakas requirements. You need to have your grade 12 results. You need to have, of course, a passport, a valid one. You need to have, um, oh, very important, they need to check you. This is actually done in most Russian universities. They check us, even us, we are here, but every year we have to go for medical checkups. So before you come here, you must do one in South Africa. When you arrive here, you do another one. Because they wanna check all your systems, all your organs. They don't want you to come here with infections. So yeah, if you have an infectious disease, TB, whatever, you know, if you have HIV, if you have any infectious disease, you will not be allowed to come here. Unfortunately, they're trying to keep their people safe from our sicknesses and stuff so basically if you have an infected infectious or infected disease you will not be allowed to come here but yeah they do everything they check your lungs your urinal every system guys everything they check it okay so don't be weirded out x-ray they check everything okay so what else you need to know <clears throat> um, 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 um. results yes let me go back to that point 
Well, if you are applying to the universities, most of them here don't really require you to have straight A's or, oh my God, hey, 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 no, you just, even if you're an average student, honestly, you can come here as long as you've passed. That's the benefit. But for the bursary, honey, you are competing with people that just came from high school, they have straight A's and the bursary is limited. So for that, you might need uh, to have good marks. But for just anyone that's coming here without a bursary, honey, average, you're fine, you're good, just come okay and what else do you need to know <coughs> for the bursary also oh actually yeah for the bursary you can't be pregnant so <laughs> if you are gonna come here and they're doing your test and they say that you are pregnant they will not give you that bursary unfortunately so yeah let's move on to the bursaries now first the bursaries 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 i am aware of one bursary at the moment from south africa and that is the Mpumalanga department the one from the education department or the department of education not the health department i know that Gauteng used to offer a bursary but i've recently learned that that bursary has been seized it is no more so unfortunately yeah limpombo no bursary kzn no bursary whichever country whichever province sorry no bursary free state i don't know if their bursary is still running but i know students that are here most of them are in, are in moscow are in raizan are in where 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 they are actually under bursary so yeah free state student i don't know if it's still running but i know that yeah they are quite a lot of them here under bursary so and then it's us for students of course um mm -hmm. so that's what else do you need to know about the bursary people have been telling me that Rakas is expensive so they are trying to get a bursary to pay for the registration fee because the government actually covers that for you so yeah sorry Rakas apparently is very pricey so yeah let's move on to which university to pick very very important point this one is the most important point very crucial point let me just state that I mentioned two agencies right now when I did my research okay that was when I was here I was trying to transfer i learned that the simitex agency actually is the one that worked with i think most of the free state students and simitex actually offers you i would say this is just my own recommendation my own opinion they offer you better universities because most of the universities that they have they're based in moscow the capital city so you know you're probably going to get good, get good education there because also it's quite compared to our you know our stream so yeah um moscow they have like really good universities they have spoken to some students there actually and they have a completely different experience from what we have like oh my god so i would personally recommend simitex over ruckus but if you can't really afford then i would say ruckus would do for you because most people that i know have used ruckus so yeah and if you're gonna use ruckus i would I beg you, I beg, beg, beg you, request a list of universities. Unfortunately, when we came, we were never told about a list, we were never given a list, my husband never told us anything about a list. So we just we said, okay, we're not, we are late, you are going there, and that was it. And when we learned that there was actually a list which people were supposed to get, and they picked for themselves, and they go, I was like, such a thing so please request a list and i beg you uh, please this is very important this will change your life whenever you get that list or the name of your university do your research 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 i cannot stress it any further do your research don't just take what the ruckus people will tell you or what the university side will tell you honey talk to students if you want i will personally i'll give you details don't don't just take what they tell you i pray i beg you please just make sure you do your research like talk to us talk to students okay they will tell you their own personal view and this will help you as well but when you come here your mindset will be different and yeah i'll speak about this in a different video make sure you watch all my videos in this uh, playlist please i'll speak about all this in the other video because yay shock shockment anyways yeah so <clears throat> there's that do your research what else did i want to talk about in this segment um <laughs> i think that's all for now now please make sure you watch my other videos i'll be going into details about the universities so yeah um now my recommendations lastly um or my advice is that if you are already in medical school right now in south africa please i beg you stay there 
because some people have come here and they were already in medical school they wanted the whole europe or you know a eurasia experience or abroad experience and it's not working out so well for them some of them actually regret that it's one of their biggest regrets um but however if you just want to come here to explore studying abroad you want to know what it's like you want to compare then i mean you're a grown up you can do whatever you want you can come here no problems um and also if you're in grade 12 and you know that you stand a great chance of actually getting entry in a south african university to do medicine i wouldn't say apply to come here many of us we are here and we got acceptance letters when we were already in here and we couldn't go back home <laughs> Oh, story that's a story for another day so if you feel like you'll, you'll get entry I, I i really urge you to stay because there's a lot of things which we are facing right now that maybe could have been avoided and i feel like sometimes like even the, the waiting period because we have to write a board exam we have to there's a lot to do and i feel like even now some people graduated here uh, years ago and they have not written the board exam yet i don't know if it's the waiting period if they're having complications or there's just there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot of it's like a process so if you know that you stand a chance to actually yeah to get space don't not do don't 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 come here unless of course you want the experience just my own advice right and then there are some of us that you know couldn't get space so yeah we couldn't get space shame we tried so we came here it was not so bad because now we're still gonna maneuver our way into the stream so yeah if you want to maneuver welcome okay, we will maneuver together we'll figure it out so yeah that is all for this video i will talk more about these things in my next videos in this playlist so make sure you watch them as well i will catch you guys on my next video make sure you like subscribe share this information you know people might just you don't know what to come say watch just share guys sharing is free liking is free subscribing is free subscribing is what it is free so subscribe i'll catch you guys in my next video bye